Wow, I can't believe I got the opportunity to see the world's biggest 3D printed building in person in Dubai. It was built with an Apis Core printer. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've gotten the channel's first brand sponsorship, Ventures Equipment. More on that later. The bad news is my lavalier microphone just recorded static. So the audio from this video is completely lost. I'm going to try my best to recreate the things I said with this voiceover. Behind me is the Dubai Municipality Building. In front of it, you can see the exact model of Apis Core printer used to build it. It was operated by a team of three people and moved many times during the construction of this building. In a podcast I did with Ali Mustafa, he talked about some of the details working for a construction company that was contracted by the Dubai municipality to participate in this project alongside Apis Core. Many people know Dubai has outwardly stated they have an initiative to 3D print 25% of every new building by 2030. This means that every single new building constructed must contain at least 25% 3D printed parts. They've yet to describe exactly how this stipulation will be enforced, but this building is a demonstration of their commitment to using this technology at an increasing pace. They certainly do a great job with the landscaping, and the building looks minty clean. You can't help but notice the unique curvature of these walls. It's fairly significant. Generally, when using manual labor, you wouldn't want to implement walls like this because they would require unique one-off formwork that you would use one time and likely never again. This building measures just shy of 7,000 square feet, making it enormous in comparison to the other 3D printed buildings we've seen. It holds the Guinness World Record by a significant margin being more than twice as big as the next runner-up. The 3D printed parapet around the top looks really sleek and elegant. Even on the back side of the building, nearly every wall features a curvature, except for maybe two or three. Combined with the tall windows, this building has a unique look like no other. Renderings of an upcoming Apis Core home project in America actually feature a very similar design that bring the style of this building over to a residential project. We'll touch on that in a little bit along with some of the other things Apis Core has been up to since this significant milestone achievement a couple years ago. They've chosen to plaster over the majority of the walls on this building leaving only the gray entryway exposed with the raw layers from the 3D printer. They probably wanted to keep it professional looking and the white paint helps reflect the hot desert sun in Dubai. I really like the 3D optical illusion of cubes from the pattern of the sidewalk pavers. It's really a shame my lavalier microphone wasn't working because this portion of the building had some really unique audio qualities presumably due to the shape of the building. This brings about another significant advantage of concrete printing. With clever foresight, you can use the curvatures made possible by this automated construction technology to either amplify or dampen sounds. You can also direct them in a direction of your choosing, for example, in an amphitheater. Later in this video, we can speculate a bit on some of the equipment Apis Core was using on site to print this building in the heat. What do you think about the design of this building? Does it set the standard of a new taste, or is it a growing pain in an industry that's adapting quickly and adjusting as fast as technology? The way I see it, this project is a critical stepping stone, demonstrating some of the unexplored possibilities of this technology. While most people are trying to build tiny homes, Apis Core has demonstrated that it can also be used for larger buildings by simply moving a printer. Even though it prints in one radius, if you move the printer, you can build as large as you'd like. On the gray wall behind me, they actually have really impressive layer quality. 
I'm not sure if they were using some kind of flaps to smooth the layers out after they were printed or their material just lays like that but it looks really good it's quite consistent and I'm kinda of bummed out that they decided to cover it up on the majority of the building recently Apis Core has shifted their focus to America lately they developed a course that teaches you about an introduction to 3D concrete printing like 3D concrete printing 101 you can check it out on their website the model of printer you see here is their original model since then they've upgraded and repainted their new edition they've also come up with a new delivery system that you might have to hear from them themselves let's just say they're thinking about bringing the traditional concrete delivery methods to the future of construction I think that's part of why they didn't mind leaving this model behind they knew that their company was at an early stage where they were sure to be continuing to improve their technology. Now, what they're working with is enormously better than this model from the past. Hopefully, I'll be able to cover some new buildings by Apis Core soon. They have one of the only printers that doesn't fit well into the gantry category or the robotic arm category. They developed their own system on a polar axis. I like to call it a polar printer like the one they use in France with Constructions 3D. I guess Printed Dome may also fall into this elusive category. It really is unfortunate I wasn't able to get inside of this building. I'm sure many incredible details could have been exposed. They weren't working today and so I was actually the only one on site. I always like having someone from the company with me that can give a little bit of an interview and share their experience for being on the project while it was under development. A little bit behind the 3D printed Dubai Municipality building, I saw this leftover equipment. I would imagine that shipping trailer was maybe a chiller where they cooled down the water before it was used in the mixing system. They probably put dry material into that silo and had a mixer pump that would distribute the material via a hose to the Apis core system and ultimately out the extruder head. Again, this is an old project. Since then, Apis core has improved tremendously and their current setup looks almost nothing like this. Now I want to tell you a little bit about my sponsor, Ventures Equipment. I'm so thankful they've decided to partner up with this channel. They provide a new mixer pump solution that can work with any construction, 3D printer, mortar, or concrete. Their variable rate settings and attention to detail will improve your mixer experience. This is a smaller company with a customer focused mindset willing to work with you on an individual basis to make sure their product suits your needs. Lastly, let's talk about this rendering of the upcoming Apis Core house print. This mansion is going to be an incredible display of what 3D printed concrete is capable of. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.